and welcome to Cooking in the Kitchen again. This week we've got some stunning guests. Folk, uh, what would I call them, stalwarts. I'm not saying they've been around a long while, but they've been in the folk industry quite, in a, well, quite a long time, I would say. And that's not, I'm not being funny, am I? <laughs> <laughs> they've forked about this country so much, it's unbelievable. Introduce yourself, guys, the Pittman Poets. From the left, Jez Law here. Jez Law. And my name's Benny Graham. Uh, and I'm Bob Fox. And I'm Billy Mitchell. Well, that's brilliant. We've got some stunning instruments here. I mean, a lot of people mightn't have seen these instruments before. Do you want to tell us what you're playing? This is a mandocello. Mandocello, yeah. right? Eight string thing here, yeah. What's it sound like? Sounds like that. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Best of times. And that looks an interesting thing with buttons on it. What do you oh, call yeah. that? It's, <laughs> it's, his <laughs> it's his trousers. Bob's, it's his <laughs> trousers. Hey. Bob has another name for it, but his proper title's a melodeon. It's kind of like an accordion. What's that sound like? Well, it sounds like that. I really like that sound. Fantastic Beautiful, sound. isn't it? Mm. And then we've got a, what looks like, I think most people know what that is. That's a regular guitar. Sounds like this. <laughs> oh, interesting tune as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah good one. And then a, a small... Hey, this is a mandolin. Mandolin. That's what that sounds like. Brilliant. Ah. So the Pittman Poets, how long have you been together? Well, um, as the Poets, about we did our first gig in 2011, I think. Um, but we're, it's not a regular thing. We just get together when we're not doing other things. Right. Um, and is it quite hard to sort of organise all of that? It's almost work together? impossible. <laughs> it, it, it is almost, it almost is. impossible. impossible. Yeah. I heard it was a challenge even just to get you here tonight, which I'm really pleased you all <laughs> made it here tonight, by the way, because somebody told me on the grave thing, how many's turned up? And I said four, and they went, all four? How, <laughs> how have you done that? And I says, well, Billy organised it all, so that's how it worked out. So you've got a tour coming up? Uh, we're touring in uh, January... 2016. Brilliant. In the UK. It's not long enough. That includes know. Barnsley. Mm -hmm. Barnsley and yeah. Wales. Excellent. Yeah. That's good. So Wales, that's kind of stepping over the borders a bit. It is a bit, yeah. It's passports and all that across uh, the Seven Bridge. Well, that sounds fantastic. Well, shall we have a listen to one of your songs and what do you fancy playing? Yeah, well, if, um, the, uh, the title, The Pitman Poets, comes from a guy, uh, the original Pitman Poet from Stanley and County Durham called Tommy Armstrong. Right. And Tommy Armstrong wrote songs about really serious events in the, in the coal mining community and also funny events. But this is one of the serious ones. Right? Yeah. One, two, three. If you're inclined to hear a song, I'll sing a verse or two. And when I'm done, you're gonna say that every word is true. The miners of South Meadowsley, they never will forget. Isaac and his tyranny and how they have been tret. For in the midst of danger, these hardy sons did toil For to earn their daily bread so far beneath the soil To make an honest livelihood each miner did contrive But you shall hear how they were sold in 1995 For oh, the miners of South Bedhamsley, they're gonna make some stew They're gonna boil fat postic and his dirty candy crew the master shall have now put soup as long as they're alive In memory of the dirty tricks in 1895 Now below the county average then, the men were 10% But physic the unfeeling curry wasn't rest content And a 10% reduction on the men he did demand such a strong request as this, the miners couldn't stand. So the notices were all served out, and when they had expired, all the gear was brought to bank, and the final shot was fired. To hurt the honest working man, this lawless man did strive. He'll often rue for what he did in 1995. All the miners of South Benhamsley, they're gonna make some stew. They're gonna boil fat postic and his dirty candy crew. The master shall have now put soup as long as they're alive. In memory of the dirty tricks in 1995. Well, Fizek was determined still more tyranny to show. But to get some candy men, he wandered to and fro. He made his way to concert and he found Postick the bum. He knew he liked such dirty jobs and he was sure to come. So Fizek told him what to do and where to go and when. And at the time appointed, Postick landed with his men. With horses and with candy men, the place was all alive. 
All for the strike that physic caused in 1995. For oh, the miners of South Meadows Lee, they're gonna make some stew. They're gonna boil for caustic and his dirty candy crew. The master shall have no but soup as long as they're alive. In memory of the dirty tricks in 1995. Well, Commander Postick gave the word, then they started with their work. They were done by five o'clock, but they dasn't stop till dark. And when they had done all they could and were finished for the day, then the policers guarded Postick and his dirty dogs away. No fires, it was a tyrant, and the owners, they were the same. And for the turnout of the strike, why, they were the ones to blame. Neither them nor Postick need expect they'll ever thrive. For what they did to Dipton Man in 1995. For oh, the miners of Silk Medemsley, they're gonna make some stew. They're gonna boil for Postick and his dirty candy crew. The master shall have no put soup as long as they're alive. In memory of the dirty tricks in 1995. <laughs> <laughs> and in 1985. Aye, absolutely. That's brilliant, that. It's effortless. <laughs> it's just so effortless. I mean, you're enjoying what you're doing, that's brilliant. You can see how it comes across, but the sound, it's just, for me, it's meticulous. It's brilliant. Well, thank, you. thank you very much. Give us a little bit of history about you, where you started, and how you got into music. I mean, we've just listened to songs there. Eh? Yeah. Very descriptive about that period and everything that goes uh, on. Yeah, I come from Seam Harbour. And right. uh, I come from a, a coal mining family, um, as I think we all do, which is why we uh, gel together in this kind of presentation. Um, I'm the first one in my family not to have been a coal miner. Right. And uh, You got I, away with that like I that, did right? get away with that. Well, my dad said it was far too dangerous. Yeah. Um, and he got me a job in the asbestos factory. Did he? So, um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> and uh, the, the history of me, just basically I um, was listening to folk music at school and uh, I, I heard a song about a coal mining disaster in Nova Scotia. Right. And I thought there must be some songs about round about here where I live. And... Uh, uh, went and found a local folk club, and sure enough, everybody was singing songs about pit strikes and all kinds of stuff Disaster, that had sounds... happened just within, you know, 10 miles of where I was born and brought up. Is there up. any positive songs that come out of that? I mean, I've heard a few songs, and they always seem about sort of people's misfortunes, but do you know of any songs that have, like, positive oh, there's songs? A, there's a, there's a lot of celebratory songs as well, yeah, yeah, and we do we do a few in the show, you know, it's not all, it's not doom and gloom not all the way, you know. Well, that doesn't sound doom and gloom. Well, that's right, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's far from it, isn't it? You yeah, know? I mean, it, for all, it's, it's about... Very it, jolly, actually. Yeah. It's a, a, about a hard event. Oh. It's it's by no means crying in your beer time, you know. No, no. It's about get up and have a go, you know, and have fun. Well, yeah. I mean, the, the, the whole point of that song is that the, the, is, is the miners that are on strike, they're going to get a hold of the bailiffs, the candy men, yes, and they're going to stuff them into the big soup pans. Yeah. That, that, that were used in the feeding centres to feed the miners' families, yeah. and then they're going to make them into a big thick broth, yeah. and then they're going to feed that to all the owners, all the all the Tories. Tasty. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Serves them right, I With think. some nice so. granary bread, you know. Mm. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> Very good homemade from, from bread From the farm shop. Yeah. <laughs> so, Benny, how did you get into it? Much the same way, really. Um, I think the, uh, the, the, short, uh, the mid-60s was, was kind of a, a lot more political than it uh -huh. is now you know right. and political songs uh you know coal mining and shipbuilding and 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 you know cnd and all that sort of stuff was uh -huh. all on the go and and it was it was kind of exciting time to be a, a kid uh, who just learned to sort of you know to start singing yeah uh and i i, I did my first gig in 1967 well you know uh and, and, and i've stopped born. since you know. <laughs> <laughs> That black leg mining man, who is that, that black leg mining man? He's the one who helps the boss nail his brothers to the cross. Who is that black leg mining man? Where was that black leg mining man? Where was that black leg mining man? He was nowhere to be seen when they killed the young Jones and Green. Where was that black leg mining man? He was that black leg mining man. He was that black leg mining man. He was deep down in the mine. He'd gone through the picket line. He was that black leg mining man. And why does that black leg mining? And man, why does that black leg mining man dig the black black coal? 
puts his maras on the dole. Why does that black leg mining man one day? That black leg mining man one day. That black leg mining man. He'll rue what he has done when there's no work for his son one day. That black leg mining man someday. That black leg mining man someday. That black leg mining man. He realise he sold his soul for a tub of black leg coal someday. That black leg mining man.